Dasha, CEO and founder of StudyFriend, an online platform that connects students with international opportunities worldwide. We guide students through the entire application process and the international journey, starting with applying to the school, securing scholarship, and then relocating and doing all of this. I became a founder myself when I was 24 years old, and that was so far one of the most amazing and at the same time the most challenging experience of my life. And I'm happy to share five of the most difficult and rewarding parts of being 20 something entrepreneur. So let's start with the positive side. Uh, rewarding. First of all, it's fast growth. I don't think it's possible to place yourself in an environment in your 20s when you can grow as fast and like as, as quickly um, as being a founder and be like in charge of the company and then learning so many different things, you're being like around like so many different people, different people. Second part is actually um, inspiration and high standards. Again, in majority of cases, you're gonna be most likely the youngest in the room. You're gonna be placed around like people like multiple, multi-time founders, amazing experts, uh, lots of them are gonna be working for you, and uh, just your level of development, the life standard and so on is gonna be so high. Again, it's gonna just help you to grow faster and gonna have so much more inspiration from just your connections and networking and everything you have in your life. Third is actually energy. Uh, let's be honest, we have lots of energy when we're young, like we definitely have less hangover when we're 21 than we're like 31 and trust me, you're gonna have like, it's just gonna be way easier to have a sleepless night, to work as much as we can without breaks of food, I don't know, like walk and so on and uh, it's just gonna be pure exploration and I don't know, just feeding from the energy from like universe and your founder energy. Um, also, it's open and flexible mindset just because we just have less limitations. We're talking to so many different people. We are exposed to so many diverse backgrounds, experiences, and we have to be in an open position to grow in business. It's going to be the biggest investment in our future mindset and the way we look at things and how we approach people and different situations. And uh, last but not the least, I think it's just being fearless and to dream big and to take really bold steps. Just because sometimes we might have less experience, but it also means that we just know less things that should not work or will not work. And sometimes you just can't do impossible because just no one told you, oh my god, I just can't do this. So I believe it's, it's a perfect position and a perfect mindset to do something really crazy just because you don't know that it's impossible and hence you can do this. Turning to the difficult part because of course you have side, uh, uh, second side to like other coin. So one of the most difficult parts of being 20-something entrepreneur, at least for me, it was imposter syndrome. Once again, most likely going to be the youngest in the room. You're going to be hiring people that way more experienced than you are. You're going to be hiring people that are way older than you are. Uh, you're going to pitch in your ideas and sometimes you're going to be outperforming people that's older and more experienced than you are. And you might going to think that that's just not you, it happens accidentally, you don't really deserve, you need to prove something to someone, you need to ask permission of people to be their CEO, the founder, and that feeling can be sometimes really exhausting and you need to overcome and be really appreciative of yourself and, and what you achieved as well. Uh, also asking for help, uh, again, it's really difficult uh, when you less experience, sometimes less, feel less confident to be in a very vulnerable and open position to ask for help and that sometimes can create additional stress and just limit your growth because that's essential. Uh, always, always ask for help like other people. Uh, also, because it's, you have a lot of different, lots of energy, it's gonna be much more difficult to manage your well-being and balance and to understand that you, can, you should actually invest in your health, you should actually invest into your like, energy levels it's not a gay to be on a ramen uh, lifestyle and you should treat yourself well, you should eat well and it's just way easier to reach burnout and exhaustion uh, just because you never felt it and you feel like, oh my god, I can do anything and I will never be tired and oops, once you have a back pain, you have headache, your knee hurts and that's just because you've been sitting for too long with your laptop it's also might be happening Lonely uh, that's, uh, in my case, I felt lonely a lot of times and I still do feel, most importantly because in this period of time, in your 20s, uh, you're already not really uh, living with your parents and you're by yourself, but at the same time, most likely you're going to be too young, like in my case, to start your own family. 
um, some of your friends, I don't know, just hanging out somewhere, taking gap years, changing career, and you're actually responsible for managing people, hiring people, getting fundraising, getting things done, you're gonna be in some like gap position when you're gonna have, I didn't have lots of people um, around me who really understand what I'm going through, and that was a very lonely uh, feeling and, and position. Um, and last but not least, it's self-awareness. Uh, I do believe like in my 20s and I'm still in my 20s, I don't really know, I just start to know myself, my own limitations, my own capabilities, uh, what it is, does it mean, why I'm doing certain things, and I can really sometimes really slow down and look into myself and to meet myself personally and make my balance when I at the same time have to push forward, my team grow fast, to have business ex execution and a lot of responsibility on my shoulders. But again, that's all manageable and it's definitely worth it. So being a founder in the 20s is definitely awesome, as well as in any different age.